Hi guys. So if you're on my personal page, you'd know that I do a lot of crocheting and I actually used to own a crochet business out of my home and I would make crochet photography props for people around my old town and there was always people asking me if I could teach them how to crochet so I thought I would start making crochet tutorials and this first video is not going to be a how to crochet video it's going to be a pattern and tutorial for a beanie and what I'm going to make for you today is a link from the Legend of Zelda beanie and it's going to be in size six months. And in the description below, I'm going to put how many double crochets around for other sizes. So if you want to keep making it bigger or go smaller, you can. Okay, and also, most of my beanies that I make, I don't go off of a pattern. I kind of just make it up as I go. So in order for me to help myself with editing this, I have a notebook and I'm going to be writing down everything I do. What you're going to need is green and then a brown or like gold, whatever you want the color to be for the stitching on the side of the hat. And also I'll be using an H hook which is a 5 millimeter. I'm going to try and make this as detailed as possible to help you guys out because I know some patterns online can be very confusing and I also have my mini tripod to film me up close. So bear with me and let's get started. Okay, so the general shape of this beanie is like an elf beanie. If you don't know what an elf beanie is, it's usually tight right here and then it's long and goes to a point. First thing we're gonna do is make a magic circle with 10 double crochets. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is a magic circle. Goodness. I'm trying to watch the viewfinder at the same time. And once you got your magic circle, you're gonna chain two, and then we're going to do 10 double crochet. One. And don't mind my band-aid, guys. <laughs> Once you got that, I'm going to pull the string out of it. I'm going to pull it out. And you're going to grab the shortest one first and pull it until it goes in a circle. And make sure this doesn't get pulled through. And then you're going to take the end string and pull that tight. So that's part of your magic circle. Okay, so we're going to be securing it into this one. I know it's hard to tell, and if you are having a hard time telling which one to secure it into, just count around. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you know it's that one. Because you're going to want ten all around. So you just secure it. And chain, chain. And there you go, that's step one. Okay, so since it's going to a point, we're gonna just do one double crochet around, and then so your row two will be 10 double crochet also. So you just start where the first one is connected, right there, and then one double crochet in each one all the way around. is what we have so far. I forgot to mention when I learned how to crochet I taught myself on just tutorials and books and on YouTube and online and somehow when I learned how to crochet I learned inside out <laughs> and so everything I'm doing is going to be inside out and at the end we're gonna flip it and then it'll be exactly the same as anyone else's. So if it looks a little weird, just wait until the end and it'll be fine. <laughs> in the third row, we're just gonna do exactly the same as the second. We're gonna crochet one double crochet 
into each all the way around. A row four is gonna be exactly the same again. Our goal for this hat is for it to gradually start getting bigger um, because if you just do this all the way and then start going out like a normal beanie, it's going to turn out like this, which some people like and I've had a lot of orders of these for um, Christmas, but that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to gradually go out. So we're going to start adding two double crochets to each row. So the next row is going to have 12. So row five, we are going to start with two double crochet in the first one. So one, two. The next four, you're just going to do one. So one, two, four and then in the next one you're going to do two in the same hole so one two and then one double crochet all the way around so if we did that correctly we should have 12 all the way around and then secure and so now we're slowly getting bigger so if you missed what we did there, our first hole had two double crochets, and then the next four had one double crochet, and then the next one had two double crochet, and then the next four had one double crochet. Got it? For row six, I'm going to do the same thing again. So I'm gonna do two double crochet, and then the next four, one double crochet, then two double crochet, and then the next four, one double crochet. All right, so that was row six, and we have a total of 14 double crochets all the way around. And our goal is to go all the way to 50 double crochets all the way around, because that will be a size six months. And if you want a newborn size, that would be 40 double crochet all the way around, and a size three months would be 45 all the way around. Okay, for row seven, I'm going to add four extra. So we're going to do two double crochet in the first one, and then one double crochet in the next three, and repeat that all the way to the end. All right, guys, this is row seven, and we're doing two double crochet in the first one, and then three with just a single, not a single crochet, one double crochet. One, two, three. And then the next one is going to be two. One, two. Okay, and on this row, there's not gonna be enough at the end to do another um, three double crochet. So it's the two, and then it's only one before you secure it to the end. And if you count around, this row should have 18. And so far, this is what it looks like. Row eight is going to be two double crochet in the first one. The next four will be a one double crochet in each, and then so on all the way around again. This is my last two crochet in one, and there is only enough to put one two on the last bit. So let me finish that. And secure it and chain two. All right, so now you guys should have 22 double crochets around. All right, so now we're on row nine, and I think I'm gonna do that again. We're gonna repeat that. We're gonna do two double crochet in the first one, and then the next four, yeah, the next four will have one double crochet, and then repeat that all the way around. Okay, so it should look like this. Two double crochet in the first one. The next four have one double crochet. And repeat that all the way around. Okay, so on row nine, if you did it correctly, the very last double crochet that has two in it, um, there's only going to be one double crochet after that. So let's do that. And secure it.
Just to make sure you did that one correctly, you're gonna wanna count 29 around for row nine. For row 10, we're going to be doing two double crochet in the first, and then the next seven we'll have one double crochet, and then repeat that all the way around. The last one that will have two double crochet in one, you're only gonna have two more after that. So this is the shape we have so far, and we have 31 around, and we're trying to get it all the way to 50. So let's keep going, we're on row, row 11. For row 11, we're going to do two double crochet in the first one, and then the next six is going to have one double crochet, and then repeat that all the way around again. Okay, there's my last one with two double crochet, and then there's only two left that will have one double crochet. Okay, and if I did the math correctly, now we should have 36 around when you're done with row 11. And let me make sure. And also if you guys have, oh, there's the phone, hold on. And if you guys need help with any of this or you're getting stuck on a part, just comment down below and I'll try and explain it to you down below too. Um, also, I'm going to put a poll right here somewhere. Hopefully that's popping up for you right now. And um, I'm just gonna be asking if I should keep making crochet tutorials or I might put what I should do next. <laughs> So whatever it is, just answer that for me up below. It'll really help me out. Okay, so now we're on row 12. 40 divided by four is 10, so every nine. Okay, sorry, I have to do the math. Sometimes crochet involves a lot of math if you're trying to do something a certain way. So what we're gonna do is double crochet two in the first one, and then the next nine will have one double crochet. And then repeat that all the way around, and hopefully we should be to 40 all the way around. <laughs> and again, just to help you guys out, after the last two double crochets in one, there will be five that you need to put one double crochet in. Now, hopefully there's gonna be 40 around. Yep, 40. All right, now that we're at 40, I'm gonna stop and tell you something. Um, if you're trying to make this for a newborn, this is where you would stop because for a newborn head size, I usually do 40 all the way around, 40 double crochets. So if you're just making this for a newborn, you're gonna wanna keep going all the way with just one double crochet all the way around, two chains, and keep going until it's about that long. I'm not sure how many that would do because I'm gonna go make a size six months, but if you keep doing that, all the way until it's longer or however long you want. Just skip to the end and I'll show you how to make the edging and then the stitching on the side. So there's that. And also I'm gonna tell you how to make it a size three months. And since we already have 40 around, a size three months would have 45 around. So if you're trying to make it a size three months, do, hold on, let me do the math real quick. 45 divided by five would be nine, so every eight. Okay, <laughs> sorry. You would do two double crochet in the first one, and then the next eight would have one double crochet, and then two double crochet in the next one. Just keep repeating that all the way around, and you should have 45 all the way around, and that's a size three months, and then just keep doing what I said, and then skip to the end, and I'll show you the edging. For the six month beanie, we're on row 13, and we're going to do two crochet in the first one, and then the next 12, we're gonna do one double crochet in each one, and then repeat that all the way around. Okay, for the end of row 13, you should have 44 now. So row 14, you're gonna do two double crochet in the first one, and then one double crochet in the next 11, and then repeat. Eleven, and this next one is going to have one and two in the same hole. And now the next eleven are going to have one again. Okay, and the last part's going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, with one double crochet in it. 
and row 14 you should have 48 now. So row 15 we're going to be doing two double crochet in the first one and then the next 24 you're going to be doing one double crochet in each one. And that should make it to your 50 all the way around. Okay it's the next day now and what I did was finished up the rows which I ended up doing 11 of them. So 11 rows 50 all the way around which is one double crochet in each one and so that makes a total of 26 rows so I was going to make an edge but but I think what I'm gonna do is just roll it I'm going to turn it the other way so I'm crocheting backwards and I'm going to do a single crochet all the way around okay so on this last one we're just gonna Secure it. Oops, sorry, that's my scissors. We're gonna secure it and cut it. And pull it through. And there we go. Like I said before, when I learned how to crochet, I somehow learned it inside out. So mine has to be turned inside out for it to be the correct way. Ta-da! I'm going to flip the end like so. And this is for a six month old. That's the size we did. and. Um, I have a son who is four months old, which I'm gonna try it on him, but it's probably gonna be a little big, but I'm gonna have him be the model for this today. The last thing we need to do is the stitching on the side. What I'm going to do is put this part down on the bottom. So this will be the back of the beanie. And this is the general shape. We're going to do the stitching and it's going to be in brown. All right, so I'm going to be doing the stitching right here. All right, now I'm just going to tie off all the pieces. You can also tie off this piece. to sew in because no one's gonna see that and then to tie off this end I'm going to put it through here bring it through and we're done all right guys well that's it for today if you have any suggestions for the next crochet tutorial just comment them below and take the poll